Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Peter Sheikh Skara Fever, the Slim Giant. You can call me the Smart MC if you like. If you are new to my channel and you've not subscribed, hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Rashim Pundu has posted a new video. I'm going to be showing you a video of our former Vice President Dr. Neva Sequila Mumba how passionate he is about our Zambia. You can even hear it from his voice. Now, this is the only opposition leader at the moment that I've seen consistently. Get me that. Get me right on that one. He's the only opposition leader that I've seen consistently talking about the happenings, uh, happenings in Zambia. He has talked about the God. He has talked about the Chinese people. And now he's talking about a video that I'm going to be showing you that Zambia can't breathe and it is true zambia can't breathe it's like china is kneeling on its neck it's like the economy is crumbling everything is just in a mess okay a lot of things are happening apologies here and there this one says something that is all right tomorrow they are apologizing this one says something that is right the other day they are warning them uh, uh, to stay away from the office of the president when actually they are just airing um, out their views about what is going on in Zambia and so I don't know where we're going in Zambia and I don't know how we arrived at what is happening in Zambia right now. So that's our, our our former vice president on the photos that you are seeing right now um, uh, on, on the video, Dr. Neva Sequila Mumba. He is the leader of uh, MMD, the former party that ruled Zambia for 20 years. He is now the leader, the new hope for MMD. That's what he is calling it. So just check out the video in a moment of how he is talking about the Zambia that can't breathe at the moment i love this man and his voice gives hope um the uh, the, uh, the the man behind the zambia shall be saved check out this video and uh share if you can don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel and also to uh, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that I have posted a new video. Check out Dr. Nevers Sequila Mumba on the other hand. My name is Nevas Mumba. Every government has a responsibility to create an environment within that particular country to help the citizens of that country to cope both in good times and in bad times. Today the whole world is going through the COVID-19 pandemic problem and a lot of our people have come to realize that because of this condition, they are unable to work as they used to before. They are out of jobs and they are being restricted to stay at home, meaning the income they used to make is no longer available. It is at this time every government around the world is having to rethink and to recast its vision and its responsibility to its citizens. Unfortunately, in all of our compounds in this country, whether it's Chawama, whether it's Mutendere, whether it's Kalikiriki, whether it's Chimwemwe, whether it's in Mazabuka, all over this country, people are no longer reporting for work the way they used to. A lot of them are out of employment. A lot of them are not receiving any income since this pandemic began. However, with no income, the owners of the houses they are renting are still demanding for the rentals at the same levels. Our people 
have to pay for electricity, which ever since this pandemic began seems to have tripled in cost. Our people have to continue to pay water bills to water companies at extraordinary prices. Our people are having to pay for fuel at the same rate as though there was no pandemic. Government has made no intervention whatsoever to come to the aid of the poor people in our nation. They are facing a brutal reality of existing without the support of government. I want to say to government, the reason why people pay tax in good times is so that government can remember them in bad times. And this time, responsible governments all over the world are thinking on how they can lighten the burden on the shoulders of the Zambian people or on the shoulders of their people. In Namibia and in Botswana, we notice that they have cut down on the costs of the utilities, like electricity, like water, rentals. Government has, has absorbed some of the costs during this time of the pandemic in order to give a breather to their citizens because that's why governments exist. They exist to ensure that they maintain the atmosphere or the environment within that society so that people can at least put food on the table even during times of famine. That's the responsibility of government. Unfortunately for us, instead of consideration to reduce, even just reduce the costs that I've outlined today, they have remained constant and sometimes even continue to go high. I want to speak on behalf of the Zambian people that as the late George Floyd in the United States said before he died, he said, I can't breathe because a policeman had placed his knee on his neck until he died. I want to say to the government, the people of Zambia are saying we can't breathe. The burden on them is so heavy that if government does not come in to find a solution to this problem of where this knee can be relieved from the throats of the Zambian people, a lot of our people might die for lack of support from their government. I'm aware that government has released 10 billion kwacha to help the businesses in the country to lighten up their commitments. Unfortunately, that is only for the upper Mwambas, those with companies and facilities in their banks. But here I'm talking about those who've never opened a bank account in their lives, those who have no access to those resources. It is also true that even the companies that would rather borrow from that 10 billion kwacha have failed to do so because the economy has slowed down and they're afraid that if they borrow they might end up with liabilities they may not be able to manage. I think that the poor and the poorest amongst us must be thought about. In the same way we thought of raising five million dollars to pay for a consultant to come and help us think about how to pay our debt. Such amounts could be invested in our own people. The 10 billion kwacha that we have given to these companies to take advantage of, and now they are failing to do that, part of that money could be given or used to absorb some of the costs that are on the heads of our people. I hear a cry across this country because of this pandemic and almost stagnant economy with no money in people's pockets not even knowing where the next amount is going to come from. I hear the words, we can't breathe. I hope that the Zambian government will not wait as those policemen looked on as that life was lost. I would like to ask all of us to ensure that we ask this government to respond to this cry of our people. May I also use this opportunity express on behalf of the movement for multi-party democracy 
our deepest pain in what is happening in the United States and the loss of a black life. We can only hope that violence will no longer come from the government of the United States and be applied to the minorities, in this case, the black people. We wish America well that they will find a lasting solution where equity will be introduced in the social life of all Americans. We'll pray for that country. We'll pray for our brothers and sisters to find a lasting solution. In the meantime, we also have our own situation in Zambia, where Zambians are looking to their government for a reprieve, for some kind of help during this pandemic. I thank you and may God bless the Republic of Zambia.